Hello everyone, uh, I welcome you all to today's session wherein we are discussing uh, a few concepts from the profit and loss chapter. Right? In the previous uh, two videos of PPL, percentage profit and loss, we already covered the importance of fractions. In the last video, just the video before this, we have covered uh, the importance of percentage change, successive percentage change and the trick involved whenever we have questions based on percentage change under some special conditions. In today's video, we shall be looking at profit and loss particularly right? and under profit and loss also, we shall be looking at some models of questions. Right? There are some different models of questions that we have, we shall be looking at that. Right? Let us get started with the video and again this videos are going to be brief right for a more detailed discussion on this right learning of this topic please get in touch with the closest center time center right uh, you know that time uh, has this has been this national leader right in the test prep right for uh, past so many years we have the highest number of call getters final uh, converts into the iams so if you are planning to go for an mba so time should be the place where you should join right and will certainly be helping you with achieving your goals of getting into a good B school. Let us get started with the video. So, in today's video, we shall be looking at profit and loss particularly. So, for example, we understand what cost price is, I will not go there. We understand what selling price is. Now, difference of these two is considered to be either profit or loss. So, profit happens whenever selling price is more than cost price and loss is incurred whenever selling price is less than cost price. So, thus we can go ahead and write profit as SP minus the CP whereas loss is CP minus SP. Okay. Now, we do not just stop at profit and loss calculation, we go one step further, we calculate profit percentage also. Right? So, profit percentage is calculated as the profit upon the cost into 100. So, this is the formula that we use for calculating profit percentage, but this formula can be used in several other forms also. We can write this formula as the numerator is nothing but the profit value. We could also write it like this or if you divide the numerator by denominator, we get the ratio of selling price and cost price minus cost price by cost price is 1 into 100. So, these are the different forms in which profit percentage can be calculated right? and similarly of course, loss percentage also. See one more thing that you can easily observe here is loss is nothing but negative profit. So, whatever formula we are writing for profit, same will be equally valid for loss also just with a minus sign. Meaning, if you say your profit is minus 30 percentage, so that is same as saying loss is 30 percentage. Right? So, thus there is no need to specially discuss the case of loss and loss percentages. Right? If you discuss this profit, loss is taken care of. Right? So, this is like the basic discussion that you should be aware of. Now, let us move on to some models of questions that we have under profit and loss. For example, have a look at this question. Pause the video, try it out yourself once. I will, as I said, we will be discussing it anyways. You can pause it, you can do it later. Now, if you look at this, it says a shopkeeper calculates profit percentage on the selling price and finds it to be 37.5. See, generally profit percentage is always calculated on CP, not on SP, but he did it on SP and finds it to be 37.5. Find his actual profit percentage. So, how did the shopkeeper calculate the profit percentage? The profit percentage is profit upon not CP but SP into 100. And how much did he find it to be? 37.5. So, this is nothing but SP minus CP upon CP upon SP sorry. This into 100 I can send it on the other side by 100. 37.5 by 100 when you simplify this. It is going to be 12.5 3 times, 8 times, 3 by 8. Now, please cross multiply. So, 3 times SP will be equal to 8 times SP minus 8 times CP. So, when you solve it, 8 times S CP 
sorry just a minute okay so this will be 8 times sp minus 3 times cp is 5 cp 5 sp and this will be equal to 8 times cp so from this we can get the ratio of sp by cp as 8 by 5 and once you get the ratio we can calculate the profit percentage actual profit percentage as selling price by cost price minus 1 into 100 so when you solve this we shall get the answer as 60% but if you will see, this is a very, very lengthy approach of getting to the answer. We could get to the same answer by using almost non-existing steps as follows, almost negligible number of steps, like one or two steps max, we can get the answer. Observe how. 37.5% means 3 by 8. So that means profit percentage when calculated on SP is 3 by 8. Right. This means what? This means if your SP, the denominator is 8 units, 8 rupees, 8000 rupees, whatever, profit is going to be 3 rupees. That is what it means, right? 3 by 8 means if your SP is 8, profit will be 3. Now, in any transaction, if your SP is 8 and profit is 3, can I say your cost price is going to be 8 minus 3, 5? Selling price minus the profit is your cost price. Now, in any transaction, if your profit is 3 and your cost price is 5, can I see your profit percentage on cost price actually is 3 by 5, which is nothing but again in percentages, 60 percentage. So, we can get to the same answer in less than half the time. Okay? There is a third approach also, formula approach. The formula approach goes like this. If profit percentage on SP is given to be as some P by Q, or some a by b let us take so that p we do not get confused with a by b. Okay. Then your profit percentage on cp is directly obtained as a upon b minus a, a upon b minus a. This kind of formula we have seen in one of the previous videos also when we are talking about the percentage change and all. Similarly, if profit percentage on cp is given to be some x by y. Now, directly profit percentage on your SP can be calculated as x upon y plus x. So, this is a even more direct approach, right? For example, in this present case, this a by b is given to be as 3 by 8. So, can I say 3 by 8 is given? So, what will be my answer straight away? It is going to be 3 by 8 minus 3, which is 3 by 5, which is nothing but 60 percent. So, we can also make use of this formula for answering this particular type of question. I hope we are clear with. So, basically you should never be going for this approach. This very long and unnecessary approach, you can either go for this or you can remember the formula. Now, moving on to next question. Again, you can pause it, you can try it. It says, is, uh, if selling price of two articles is the same. There is a loss of 20 percent on one article and a profit of 20 percent on the other, then find the overall profit or loss. Observe. So, the two articles are let us say A1 and A2, they have the same selling price. Selling price of two articles is the same. Right? Now, on one, there is a loss of 20 percent, on the other, there is a profit. Let us assume their cost prices are C1 and C2. So, if your cost price is C1, can I say if you incur a loss of 20 percent, your selling price will be how much? It is going to be C1 because understand cost price minus selling price is loss. So, that means cost price minus loss is going to be the selling price. So, what is cost price? C1. What is loss? 20 percent of C1. This is 100 percent of C1 minus 20 percent of C1 is nothing but 80 percent of C1. Here 20 percent profit, so selling price will be C2 plus 20 percent of C2. That is 100 plus 20, 120 percent of C2. Both should be equal, right? Both should be equal. 
So when you put them equal, we will get a relation between C1 and C2 as C1 by C2 when you simplify is nothing but 3 by 2, right. So 3 by 2 means what? If I take this as 300 rupees, this is going to be 200 rupees. That means the loss here 20 percent of 300 is going to be what? 60 rupees loss. So here the profit is going to be 40 rupees profit. So thus your selling prices in each case are going to be 300 minus 60, 240 rupees and here it is going to be 240 rupees. So that means if you want to find out the overall profit or loss, what is the total cost price? It is 300 plus 200, 500. What is total selling price? It is 240 plus 240, 480. Clearly, there is a loss and loss of, he is asking the overall profit or loss, it is loss. Loss percentage is, the loss amount is 20 rupees on CP into 100, which will give us 4 percent loss. So, there is a regular way of getting to the answer, all right. There is a faster approach also that we can do and we can get our answer in 10 seconds also. We need not do all this. But that process requires a formula which is applicable only in one case, only in a specific case. The specific case is for the two articles, selling prices should be same, 100, 100 for example. Also on one article, there should be a profit of A percent, on the other there should be a loss of A percent only, not some B percent. Now in such a case, overall there is always a loss, always there is a loss, overall there is always a loss in such a case and overall loss percentage will be given as simply A square by 100 percentage. So that means in the present case, what is A? A is 20. So my answer directly is 20 square by 100, 400 by 100 is 4 percent loss. There is no need to go for all these detailed calculations and all, we can simply get our answer by this formula, A square by 100 formula, okay. the second way, right. you can note this down, I will try to discuss one more way, right. <coughs> the third way will be like follows, observe, uh, but before I go for this way, I would like to explain the concept of harmonic mean, so harmonic mean of two numbers is given as 2AB by A plus B. Okay, just remember that formula, no need to get into details about that, right, just remember that formula. So two articles again, A1, A2, on first article there is a profit of 20 percent, second article there is a profit of a loss of 20 percent, that means profit of minus 20 it is, right, we can also write it like this. Both have same selling price, same condition, selling price is same. Now here the way we can get our answer directly is, there is no need to do any detailed calculations for this. So third approach is like this, listen carefully. If I take your cost price, my cost price as some C1, this is C2. So can I say here in this case, my selling price is going to be 20 percent more than C1, so it is going to be 120 percent of C1. I am not writing C1 and C2 right now, but I hope you follow what I am saying, I am not writing everything here. 20 percent profit, 20 percent loss. Here if the cost price is C1, selling price will be 120 percent of C1. Cost price is C2, selling price will be 100 minus 20, 80 percent of C2. Now what you do is, you apply harmonic mean on these two. So when you apply harmonic mean on these two, what do we get? 2AB by A plus B, okay. When you simplify 100 times, this 0, this 0 cancels out, 12 into 8 is 96 percent. So, when you are getting 96 percent, this is less than 1, right? This is less than 100 percent. Less than 100 percent by how much? It is less than 100 percent by 4 percent. It is less. So, if it is less, my answer will be in loss. If it is more than 100, more than 100, my answer will be in profit. And how do I calculate the loss or profit? Simple, look at its difference from 100. So, how much less? 4 less. So, my answer is 4 percent loss. 
okay so the harmonic mean can be applied this way so this is a third way this can be used in all kinds of questions no need for them to be equal it's not necessary they to be they should be equal we can also use them in questions of the following type for example look at this there are two articles again same selling price on one there is a loss of 10% minus 10% profit and on the other there is a profit of 20% that means what loss of 10% means the selling price will be 90% of the cost price here it's going to be 120% of the cost price apply harmonic mean of these two so it's going to be 2 into a into b by a plus b two ten. so when you simplify this 3 goes 7 times 3 goes 40 times that's it no more calculations no more cancellations 720 by 7 and if you look at 720 by 7 it's nothing but 102 4 by 7 percentage now is it more than 100 or less than 100 clearly more than 100 by how much 2 4 by 7 so this is my overall profit so here again there is no detail if you just go back we discussed this question in three different ways method one was very detailed very much calculation method two was a formula a square by 100 but that formula only works if a is same and selling price are same this will work this method will work in all kinds of questions only condition is selling prices should be same i hope we are clear with this approach also so with this we have come to the end of this video also i hope uh, you have understood the techniques that we spoke of in this video please do practice them on your own right please try to find some more questions to apply these techniques on right and keep learning right keep learning and for more such videos please do subscribe to our channel right do subscribe to our channel uh, we will be uploading videos very frequently right and uh, please also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video is released so on that note let me end the video here thank you and all the very best